Jesus is the answer for the world today. Good morning, everyone. Pastor Esther here. This morning, we're going to continue looking at the Word of God and what it has to say about stewardship. Today, we are going to be reading Matthew chapter 22 from verses 37 to 40. And this is what it says. He said to him, love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the greatest and most important command. The second is like it. Love your neighbor as yourself. All the law and the prophets depend on these two commands. Okay, so um, a little bit of context here to, for us to better understand um, what it is that Jesus is saying and why Jesus is even telling us about these two commands. So a little earlier on in the passage, um, Jesus was asked a question. Jesus was asked a question by a Pharisee who had the purpose to try to test Jesus to see if he would say anything that they would consider um, blasphemous or just out of turn. So the question he asks is in verse 36 of Matthew 22. It says, teacher, which command in the law is the greatest? Okay, so this is a very weighty question because um, in the Old Testament, there are 613 commands. Um, and it is understood that every single one of those commands comes from, the, from God. They are God's law. Each one of them has weight and each one of them is to be followed to the fullest. So by asking Jesus this question to say, of all those 613, which is the greatest? I believe the Pharisees were hoping that uh, they could kind of catch Jesus in some type of trap. But of course, that's impossible because he's Jesus. He's God. Instead, Jesus basically tells them that the greatest uh, command and the most important one, the first one is love the Lord your God with all your heart with all your soul and with all your mind. And then he says, the second uh, is like it, love your neighbor and yourself. And he goes on to say, all the law and all the prophets depend on these two commands. So in other words, we can say that the summation of the 613 laws of God that he gave to us can be broken down into these two laws. And those two laws can be summarized to say they deal with two very important things loving God and loving people. And so when we think about stewardship, one of the things that we have been called or given to steward is first, our relationship with God, and second, our relationship with other people. And so when it comes to God, as Jesus says in this command, we must love the Lord, our God, with all our hearts, with all our soul, and with all our mind. Now, what is particularly interesting about this verse of scripture is that it is, in essence, repetitive. So um, it is a understanding in Hebrew culture that when one speaks about the heart, one is not merely speaking about um, a compartment of one's being or more specifically their emotional self. But the heart was to believe to be um, a representation of all that a person is. So it includes their way of thinking. It includes the desires and passions, their, their soul, the things that they are driven by. So when Jesus says this this way with your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and even some translations add with all your strength, Jesus is driving the point that we must love God with everything that we are. The entirety of our being, our existence should be uh, aimed towards love and affection and respect and reverence towards God, the creator of the universe. And so Jesus says that this is the greatest, the the first important law another translation says and then jesus says the next thing that we ought to steward well is our relationships with other people and so we are commanded to love our neighbor as ourselves i like how the amplified version of the bible goes on to extrapolate um 
what is meant by you shall love your neighbor as yourself. It says that is unselfishly seek the best or higher good for others. Um, when we put other people before us, I'm reminded of like Philippians chapter two that tells us to esteem others above ourselves. Um, Jesus is telling us that the way we love other people is we need to seek their best in the most unselfish way. Uh, we need to think about other people and desire their good and their higher good. So even relating to God, what is God saying is good for this person? When we do that, we are stewarding our relationship with other people well. And of course, I know we have a, a vast difference of relationships, but this principle rings true no matter what that relationship is. That when we relate with other people, whether it's a parent, whether it's a child, whether it's a sibling, whether it's a friend, whether it's a spouse, whether it's an employee, uh, whether it's your actual neighbor who lives next to you, we are commanded to love them as we love ourselves. We are commanded to seek the best for them unselfishly. We are commanded to think of their higher good. Um, so I would encourage us this morning to reflect on our relationship and use this as sort of like a mirror to say Am I loving God with my whole existence, with all that I am, with all that I have? And am I loving other people as myself? Am I seeking their best? Am I esteeming them higher than myself? Am I thinking of their better, higher, greater good? Because if we are doing this, then we are stewarding our relationships well. And if we're not doing that, then we need to do it so that we can steward well what God has given to us. And when we do this, we will be pleasing the Father. And one day we will hear God say, well done, thou good and faithful servant. God bless you. Mm -hmm.